Hey everyone, this is Adam Anajumi here, and uh, today we're going to talk about the New Game Plus feature for Final Fantasy XV, the Comrades expansion uh, multiplayer pack for the game, basically. I guess that's, that's the best way to put it, so that I just want to make sure it's clear that this is not the main game of Final Fantasy XV, this is Final Fantasy XV Comrades specifically. Uh, so information on this video is pulled from my own experiences, and also reading about what other people are experiencing you know, looking at it, trying it, and I guess playing through it. So I'm part of, you know, the Reddit community, the Game FAQs community, and also the uh, Final Fantasy Peasants Facebook group, which is a great resource as well, uh, especially if you want to party up with people. But anyway, New Game Plus is not a feature that you shouldn't go into it with a lot of assumptions, I guess. So when you think about New Game Plus, these days you would think about, I get to do the game again, but I get extra features, I get new areas to go to, I get new fights, maybe some new items, it's nothing like that at all. It's more like hearkening back to, say, Super Nintendo or PlayStation 1 games where you had a new game plus, and all it was is that it would reset your game, but you keep your progression of your character, your stats, your, you know, skills, items, equipment, and all that stuff. That's literally all you carry over, basically. Uh, there is no extra features that become unlocked, at least as far as we know. So, I'll go over how you get to it. It's not a menu, it's not a unlock, so you're not going to get it by going to the title screen at a certain point of the game. You're not going to get it by completing the actual story progression of this expansion. It's not going to, you know, have a little pop-up going, New Game Plus unlocked, because it's always there. As soon as you start the game, you can go and do New Game Plus. Now, New Game Plus is available behind Monica, the quest NPC in uh, Les Talum. The person right next to where you put in the power nodes where you go and take your missions and quests so if you go to the door there there'll be an icon that'll go interact and you open it and it will say here's new game plus um warning warning you're gonna reset your gameplay you're gonna keep this stuff and there's gonna be a greater challenge but there's no greater challenge as far as what people have said twitter mr happy said it as well a big final fantasy community guy there's no extra challenge. It's literally the English version of the game is the only version of the game that's actually had a translation saying that. No other translation has mentioned anything about a challenge. Hopes and dreams dashed there, but maybe something for the future. But anyway, so what do you keep when you go into this mode? So you're going to keep your inventory, so equipment. Uh, what's on your character specifically when you roll over? You're going to get your items back, which you already collected. Uh, you're going to get character customizations. And the biggest thing that I thought that would get reset was um, the sigils, the royal sigils that you unlock as you go through and, you know, unlock the tombs on the map. You're going to have everyone that you've unlocked so far. However, biggest downside, don't go into it going, I'm going to do New Game Plus, whatever. I'm going to build up all my kilowatts and power. Don't do it. Don't don't worry about it because as soon as you go into New Game Plus, it's just going to be completely wiped clean. You're going to lose all that electricity and you're going to start with an empty board. Basically, I guess that's the reason why you would be doing this in general. You've got an empty stash of electricity, but you're going through and the game is at the base state of when you first loaded the game. You're going to have nothing unlocked on the electricity power board or the map. So you're going to have to go through and grind out that power and kilowatts again to unlock each little bit. Now, I'm going to get into spoiler territory here, so I'm going to put a little note on the screen that this is spoilery. Uh, I don't want people to, um, you know, not experience the excitement of going into this game. So, starting now, I'm talking about spoilers for a little bit, and this is also a lot of what's going on in the future of the game. So, I might put a little note of when you can tune in again, but at the moment I'm going to be talking about the spoiler stuff. So, starting now. For those who have done the... The bro fights, the Noctus, or not Noctus, sorry, Ignis, Gladiolus, and Prompto, you'll be able to do all those again. Um, you're going to be able to do uh, the Bahamut fight at the, you know, base level of it. Those are, those are the biggest spoilers I wanted to get out of the way. So getting back into the meat and bones of this is that reasons why you want to do this, other than those spoilery things that we've already talked about, is you get to experience the opening cinematic and uh, that little getting to Lestalem uh, mission, I guess, if you'd call it that. You get to choose your birth sign because the only place that you can choose a birth sign for your avatar is uh, when making a new avatar in Lestalem or when you start the game. 
So if you've already made a character, you can't, you that's it, they're done. They can't change their birth sign again. You have to do that new game plus start again. The only other thing I can really think of is why they would add this in is that with updates, there's still like the Nordo Nordocean, I think it's called Garrison. It is locked away basically, but you can't get to it at the moment. Um, you've got that. Uh, you've got the, the 60,000 kilowatt node, which does absolutely nothing. So I think those two things specifically, if we're going to see anything come of them, it's going to be an, an update. Maybe it might be attached to New Game Plus where if you've unlocked that stuff or if you've, you're getting to the point where you can unlock that town that hasn't been unlocked yet, then I think that's where it's going to be where New Game Plus is going to have that feature of potentially expanding. But again, this is all speculation. Uh, Square hasn't come out and said anything about that. I don't have any ties to Square. Um, it's all speculation. So those are the places I think that might be something to do with New Game Plus or expanding out the game further. But maybe it's just New Game Plus to be a throwback to what old RPGs had. I'm not sure. But anyway, those are my thoughts and those are how um, New Game Plus works, at least as far as I understand right now. Uh, again, this could all be changed like in a few days or something like that. But anyway, thank you very much for listening to me harp on about this. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you like to do. And I'll see you next time. I'm Anamana Juby. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, or night. Catch you later.